Yeah, and Tampa and Corey, there's also a late word tonight that Mayor de Blasio is calling for a rent freeze for the one million plus rent stabilized apartments in New York City. He's adding to the growing number of voices that's saying all of these renters, they need our help and they need it soon amid this crisis. With millions of Americans filing for unemployment this week, there's another looming crisis for those out of work during the coronavirus pandemic, April 1st, when the rent or mortgage is due. And in a city with some of the highest home prices in the nation, for New Yorkers, it's especially painful. Rents are not going to get paid uh, regardless because you can't pay with rent with money that doesn't exist. Queens State Senator Michael Giannaris is proposing legislation that would suspend residential and commercial rent payments for tenants who lost work and for small business owners forced to close during the outbreak. The freeze on payments would begin April 1st and last 90 days. If you can't pay your rent this month, you're not going to be able to pay three months rent in three months. So let's just nip that uh, in the bud. As for the city's rent stabilized apartments, the Rent Guidelines Board meets every spring to determine increases after public hearings. Mayor de Blasio is calling to suspend the process this year and keep all regulated rents at the same price. New Jersey's Governor Murphy also announcing he is considering taking action to protect citizens of his state worried about making that payment on their home. We have been speaking directly with mortgage lenders and many others about solutions. Last week, Governor Cuomo issued an executive order that postpones rent and mortgage payments for three months, but you would still owe the money. Giannaris's bill goes further, and he says rent forgiveness is essential to help the economy recover, especially in a city where the cost of living could mean paying your rent or feeding your family. And there's a real, real um, anxiety around what's going to happen in just a few days. Now, it is important to note that the governor's executive order also makes it illegal for landlords to evict their tenants right now. As for Senator Giannaris' bill, now that's still in, in the stages here. He's hoping that the governor will also sign an executive order. If that doesn't happen, lawmakers are scheduled to head back into legislat legislative session early next week where they can push for a vote. April 1st, of course, is just a few days away. We're live in Brooklyn tonight. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.